We created some movie clip animations to rotate some rectangles. These types of movie clip animations can be in turn used in other movie clips or on the main timeline and then in themselves be animated on that timeline. So let's see how that's done. Here are some animated movie clips that have their own animations of rotating rectangles. Those animated movie clips are being animated then again on another timeline as their positions move or their size changes. Now we'll close this and we'll open up the starting document. And we'll save it and give it a name. And I'll just put practice right in here. and save. Now we have the library open here and we'll take a look and see what we have. And we have a red rectangle movie clip which is just a shape on a single frame. No animation. Then we have a red rectangle rotating clockwise movie clip and that has a tween on it. We can see that's the clockwise rotation and then we have the red rectangle rotating counterclockwise movie clip and we can see that goes in the opposite direction and scene one is completely unused and that's where we'll start our work okay then the first layer down here we'll name clockwise left to right and we'll take the red rectangle rotating clockwise movie clip and we'll put it off to the left side top of the stage and if you don't have the free transform tool in your hand uh, use that with a letter Q we'll bring it into your hand and then uh, we'll resize it to about half the size with a constrained resize Okay, then I'll go back to the selection tool with the letter V. I'll right mouse click over this and choose create motion tween. Down on my timeline here I'm going to extend out the number of frames to 120. Okay, and on frame 120 I'll grab my motion tween and drag it all the way out with the shift key down to off the right side of the stage and you can see we have the spline showing the animation change and I'll just do control play and you'll notice that the animated movie clip does not show its animation and that is the purpose of control play it's just to show the animation tweens on the current timeline that you're editing with control test movie we can see all the timelines being animated So now we'll add another layer and we'll name this layer counter clockwise right to left and just make sure I have that first empty keyframe selected and we'll take the red rectangle rotating counterclockwise movie clip and we'll put that on stage off to the right bottom and again with the letter Q I'll open up the free transform tool and I'll try to resize this down to approximately the same size as the other one and we'll go back to the selection tool right mouse click over this choose create motion tween click on the last keyframe of that layer and then with the shift key I'll hold this down and drag this off to the left side of the stage and then we have our spline and I'll do control play just to re-emphasize that the animation is only working on the scene one timeline and to see all the animations we'll do control test movie again I'm using the shortcut keys and we can see them all running
We'll add one more layer. And we'll call this layer counter clockwise top to bottom. And on the first empty keyframe, we'll go grab the red rectangle rotating counterclockwise movie clip, drag it off to the top middle off stage. And I'll use the free transform tool using shortcut keys again and resize this down a little bit smaller than the rest. Back to the selection tool and bring it just a little bit off stage. Right mouse click over it and choose create motion tween. Click on the last keyframe. And I'll use the shift key and drag this to the bottom of this off stage position. And I'm going to go back to the free transform tool and size this up larger than it was originally. And maybe just using some arrow keys, nudge it down a little bit more. And if we just play it, we can see the control uh, test movie, we can see the actual animations running. If we just do control, just play, we see there are no animated movie clips playing, but we do see the animation on this timeline. And then we'll do control test movie again. And you just need to save this. Okay, so you can see making a larger animation is easier if we break them up into smaller individual movie clip animations. And so if you take a look at some of the animations you might see on TV, for example, or on, on websites, and try to look at them more closely and see how you might break them down into smaller individual animations that are later on combined. Now we've only been working with shapes, but uh, if we include text or video or bitmap graphics, the basic concepts are the same, creating smaller movie clip animations and combining them together. And that's all we have to do.